My name is Jennifer McGarry and I am a fifth class teacher at Alexander College Junior School in Dublin, Ireland. I also run the school's makerspace and code clubs as part of the after school programme. In my fifth class, I teach 19 girls aged from 10 to 11 years. However, in the makerspace and code clubs, I teach a variety of ages from 8 to 12 years. Along with my teaching qualifications, I also have a higher diploma in computer science. The ethos at Alexander College is based on the holistic teaching approach of the Friedrich Febel and is very much a progressive and outer looking school. The importance of enabling students to become creators of technologies and not just mere consumers of it can be seen in the broad curriculum that incorporates a range of computing devices and coding languages. I first heard about Makerspace whilst in college, completing my teaching qualification. From this moment on I was totally hooked and I loved how interactive and interdisciplinary the work in Makerspaces could be. After college, I was fortunate to find a position in a school that is so forward thinking and, in my second year of working at Alexander College, with the support from my school's principal, I set up the school's first makerspace club. I set up the club as it gave me even more flexibility to explore a STEAM integrated framework of education and I felt that my students would really respond well to this. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art and Maths. Currently the Makerspace is located in one room that is used by my fifth class and then also by the after school Makerspace Club students. I manage the Makerspace and I am responsible for keeping it stopped or ordering any equipment that it might need. The room the Makerspace is in is quite large, has a dedicated corner for supplies and safekeeping of devices and other tech equipment such as laptops and hot glue guns. It is not open outside of school hours. The Makerspace is very much in its infancy and there are plans to scale it up in the coming academic year. In this lesson, the students are beginning to work on the final stage of their collaborative board game project by making the physical board game and coding the relevant pieces. Prior to this lesson, the students have become familiar with a microprogramming board and a block-based coding environment. They have learned about some coding concepts, loops and if statements, through coding flashing LEDs and coding a working dice. Along with their coding classes, they also worked on the procedural writing genre in English and wrote rules for their board game and instructions on how to use the dice that they had programmed. Such a collaborative project takes a little bit from each subject and also requires students to have strong teamwork skills, a growth mindset and flexible habits. My role as a teacher facilitator in a makerspace is to help the students achieve success by providing them with the relevant tools and information so that they can then create something new and unique to express their learning through. The beauty of a makerspace is that it very much allows for the students' personal interests and prior knowledge to shine through. This helps every student to engage with the work being undertaken in the makerspace and allows them to feel like they have something meaningful to contribute. As students are intrinsically motivated by their work in the makerspace, they are giving themselves a better chance to develop important life skills such as perseverance and the ability to think critically. If a student is overheard exclaiming, I can't do this, another would pipe up with, yes, we had discussed the importance of a growth mindset at length and the difference that adding the magical word yet could make. Keeping the makerspace well stocked up has been a challenge as it can be time consuming to collect all the supplies needed. The projects within the makerspace class can also be time consuming to complete and this can pose a problem if you have a timetable to keep to. Going forward into the next academic year, Alexander College plans on having a dedicated space and its daily timetable for makerspace activities. This will apply to the whole school and is a great opportunity to develop the use of technologies through interdisciplinary collaborative efforts with other teachers. The setup of a makerspace in our school has been very successful overall. The feedback from the pupils has been overwhelmingly positive and there is always a great demand for places in the after school makerspace club. The makerspace has also benefited our school and pupils through the opportunity to take part in projects such as this one with the interactive classroom working group of European Schoolnet and other collaborations with external partners in Ireland. Such collaborations help the pupils to be part of something bigger and allows them to see how their learning is relevant to the wider world. Mm -hmm.